work out for other reasons. I'm not talking about your physical appearance. I'm talking about the inside, your organs. That's what my wife always tells me. We argue about little things. Like, we were fussing because she wanted to go to Target. She's like, let's go to Target. Like, I don't want to go to Target, okay? I don't want to go to Target at all. Because when you go to Target, you got to get dressed. You got to clean your face up. You got to smell like cologne. You got to look presentable, or they won't even offer you a Target credit card. <laughs> I'm a Walmart kind of guy, okay? No, seriously, you can walk in Walmart with a knife in your head, missing a leg, a shirt that says, I'm a terrorist, I'm happy for 9-11. Somebody 115 will give you a cart and say, have a great day. So I pick and choose my battles when I argue with my wife, but she's telling me I need to work out a little more, and it's true, you know? Sound like a sack of meat right there, so now I'm in the gym. First sign to let me know I need to get in the gym, I was at home in the shower by myself and I dropped the soap. Oh, no, that's not even creepy. The creepy thing about this is I've been down to pick the soap up and a puddle of water falls on my belly button and the water wasn't even falling. That was like something from the other day. But I'm still living in denial at this point. You know, I'm like, I don't need to get in the gym. I don't need to work out. But what made me come to the conclusion I need to get in the gym and work out, I was at home and I had my shirt off and my wife had her shirt off and my daughter decided to suck my breasts. <laughs> no, you guys don't understand. That makes me feel real uncomfortable. I don't even like being in the same room with my daughter with my shirt off. I'm like, get out of here or give me your mommy's bra. One of the two. <laughs> so I'm working out now. And the only thing about working out is it'll put you in an uncomfortable situation, okay? You know, I was in the gym lifting everything. Well, not everything, everything that I could lift. You know, and I had veins popping out my head. It was just one of them days where I felt like Incredible Hawk, you know, which was a mistake because I was sore from all that goddamn lifting. So I figured I'd go sit in the Whirlpool. I work out at a place called Lifetime Fitness. You know, you can get in the Whirlpool, sauna, steam room, all that. They got anything you need in this place. That's why it costs $100 a month to be a member at this place, but it's worth it. So I jump in this whirlpool, and I'm thinking it's just going to be me, because it's early in the morning, and nobody's there. It's a Sunday. I'm figuring everybody's at church. You know, I get in the whirlpool, and I'm in there for like 10 minutes by myself, and all of a sudden, this big Brock Lesnar-looking guy starts walking towards the whirlpool. You don't understand. It scared the hell out of me. I pissed a little bit of turd, tried to come out. I pushed it right back in. It was like a turtle head. I said, nope, nah. -uh. If any of this get on this dude, I'm screwed. So I'm sitting there with my butt tight, couldn't even crap for a week. I've never been that scared in my life. This dude was huge. He had a six pack on his neck. I'm trying to get one right here around my stomach and all I can get is a snack pack. I mean, it's just unfair. When you see somebody that big, I'm like, dude, you work out so much, you just use your neck? I mean, like, how do you? I don't know. It just made me nervous. So I'm sitting in the whirlpool. This guy gets in the whirlpool with me. I didn't say nothing to him. And of course, he didn't say nothing to me. Now I'm looking this way and he's looking that way. I'm assuming he's looking that way. But out of nowhere, I hear this weird noise, this <laughs> And I look over and all of a sudden I see this guy shadow boxing. Are you guys familiar with shadow boxing? Well, some of you guys look clueless. Shadow boxing is when you're punching the air. <laughs> it was beating the hell out of Casper for no reason. <laughs> I'm like, this dude got some anxiety problems, an anchor problem. I hope he's not racist. I'm nervous. My butt is getting tighter and tighter by the minute. I'm talking about he's punching and swinging and ducking and punching and swinging and ducking. And I got to thinking to myself, you know what? Maybe I should get out of here and take off running. But the other side of my brain said, no, don't do that. Because if you slip and fall and bust your knee, he'll have his way with you. <laughs> so at this point, I had to think fast and I had to use my imagination. I stood up and I started shadow, shadow shooting. Pow, 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 pow. 